Ladies, gents, do you ever feel in your relationships, in your family, with your friends, in your intimate partnerships, that you're not receiving in the way that your heart desires? Perhaps whenever you're emotional, you don't feel supported or you don't feel heard or you don't feel acknowledged, or perhaps for some men, you feel you are in a sexless marriage where there is no communication, there is no intimacy, there is no seeking to understand and having deep, authentic, communication that results in truly seeing the other person, greater intimacy, more desire to give. If this sounds like you, then stay tuned because I want to talk to you today about the emotional blocks that are stopping you from attracting more love, more intimacy, more receiving, more support in your world. Why is this happening? Why is these patterns keep repeating themselves again and again and again? So today I was creating my limitless content and my program and I'm so excited because it starts tomorrow, the first session and it's it's people can come in at any time. But the beautiful thing about this program and also about the path to healing is this. When you've come from the generation of say, it's the suck it up generation where there wasn't a lot of room for your emotions. So when you were emotional, you were told, Go to your room. Perhaps your emotions were dismissed. Perhaps they were shamed. They were criticized. Maybe you were told, don't be a baby. Maybe you were told um, to suck it up. Maybe you were, um, you were bypassed in the sense of like, you know, don't, what's the point in crying about it? What's the point in crying about it? Why bother? If this was your pattern or you didn't have, parents that were uh, attentive, present, you know, available, then you're going to continue to attract those same people, those same partners, uh, those same experiences in your life. Why? Because your soul, your inner self has a deep desire for those emotions, for that deep rooted pain to truly be heard, to truly be held, for all those feelings to be spoken out and to actually receive what you needed to hear in the present moment, but what you needed to hear back then. So when it comes to healing, in order to heal this type of wound, especially with not feeling supported, not feeling heard. It's important for us to first step into our emotional self. That's why no amount of repression and dismissiveness and avoidance is going to heal it. It's going to actually attract the same type of people. If we're being avoidant with ourselves, we're going to attract avoidance. So to heal this, it's, there's a two step process a two step process and it's this the first thing you got to do is to start being there for yourself is not bypassing yourself being too positive to love and light to all unicorns and rainbows and shit you want to move into the negativity that's where the answers are everything you desire is in the anxiety, is through the negativity. It's about acknowledging and grieving the pain of the past. 
and making your emotions matter. So if someone isn't showing up, it's start first start showing up for yourself. It's like, sweetheart, you know, I'm so sorry that you didn't receive that. I'm so sorry that you feel upset. I'm so sorry that you feel sad. And start really looking at what did I need to hear? What did I need to say? So when it comes to healing, it's about first embracing your selfishness, your self-honoring self, starting to make your feelings matter, your feelings matter, your upset matter, and so forth. So that's number one. But number two, and this is the beauty of even in this limitless program that I've created that I'm just uber, uber excited to share with everyone, is that the gorgeous thing about healing is it needs to be both individual and in group dynamic. Why group? Is because if you're trying to embrace your selfish self, for example, first thing you have to allow selfishness within yourself. If you're emotional, you need to take a break from work and let yourself be emotional. Let yourself be lazy. Let yourself have a self-care day. Say no to people. You need to start putting yourself first. But the ultimate test and if you are wanting to attract and magnetize a partner to you, um, you're wanting to receive in relationships, receive with your family, be heard, be validated, all of it, then the next step is to be emotional and to be express your needs and express your feelings in group, in group. All this talk about, you know, oh, the only person who's going to be there for you is you, is only somewhat true. It's, we are human beings. We, our lives are about relationships. We are raised in a way of attachment parenting, where it's healthy. Our whole world is built on relationships. So you are not a lone island. So for example, the ultimate test to see how confident are you with being selfish? How confident are you with receiving? How confident are you with being needy? How confident are you with being weak and emotional? The ultimate test is to show that side of yourself to others and ultimately be held, be loved in that state. When you first start to do this, it's going to be scary, it's going to feel yucky, and you're probably going to be disappointed. You're probably going to get rejected. And that's all a part of the healing because the universe wants to, you to see how confident are you with embracing the totality of yourself, your shadow self, your non-ideal self. Are you really okay with being selfish? You know, are you really okay with being emotional? And the ultimate test is to experience rejection and and then, you know, grieve that and say to yourself, even if they reject me, I'm not going to reject myself. And stand fiercely in what your needs are and what your desires are and um, be unwavering like an oak tree instead of like a tumbleweed. That's the path. So the beautiful thing about this container and group healing, group healing is this. When I designed this group, it was individual sessions with group sessions. Group sessions are there so that you can finally be this emotional being, your messy self, your weak self, whatever, all those sides of yourself that were shunned and shamed and judged. And you get to do it in this beautiful container where you can take up as much space as possible, where you can melt down, where you can be held. And all those sides of you can be loved back to wholeness. And when you can finally step into the group space 
and with others and be authentically, unapologetically you, this is when you are going to start attracting the type of love where is it's deep, it's juicy, it's receiving, and you just get to be supported and yourself at all times. So excited for your journey, for anyone that's wanting to bring more consciousness and divinity and intimacy and sexy times in and honoring and communication into their relationships, you know, comment um, limitless below and let's chat.